Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 24th, 2023. Well, my goodness, this summer is going by awfully fast, and the market is running as fast as fast as I've seen in a long time. Just running, running, running to the upside. 10 day stretch to the upside here for the diamonds in this morning. Futures are trying to pop it higher yet today. So um, what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, we've got a wild week ahead with a lot of data. We've got an FOMC meeting uh, pending. ECB is going to be making a decision. There may be some decisions made out of Japan. We have um, lots of um, economic data coming our way, including tech giant reports. So this week, buckle in because we could expect just about anything. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, as you can see, the diamonds trying to poke up here just a little bit higher again in a pre-market pop. Remember, we've been running into just a little bit of back and forth here in the market. Um, volume uh, on the diamonds has held up pretty well, but the other index is very, very low here. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration here in the market, let's look for maybe a retest of these highs up here and notice as I pull this across. That is a pretty significant level of price resistance in the chart. Now it's possible if we were to break that, we push just a little bit higher up here. You can see how these points all kind of connect, maybe just a little tiny bit higher if those bulls really get inspired. If the bears were to get inspired, well, maybe let's look for a pullback into this area of the chart right there to see whether or not we can test or hold um, any of these kind of topping pattern candles um, in the chart. And if that were to fail, I'm gonna suggest we would come all the way back down here to retest the top of that big candle, that breakout move that we had in the market. If that were to slip and fail, uh, probably coming back down into some of these levels here in the chart. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, SPY struggling here the last couple of days in trading, we had that shooting star couple of resting days, but honestly, really nothing to be overly concerned about. Um, more of a consolidation uh, move on relatively light volume. So if the bulls were to continue to find that inspiration, let's look for a retest up here, if they can really uh, crank up to the upside, and then maybe if they break out of there, you can see that red line up there that would likely be the next level for the QQQ. If the bears were to find that inspiration and continue to push, well, let's look for a little pullback here to maybe test the low side of this um, <clears throat> big candle and this little support level in the chart. Let's keep an eye on that. If they were to push on through there, well, then it gets a little bit um, concerning because we could really come down if we were to break the bottom side of that support, we could really come down substantially in the QQQ. Right now, there's no signs or clues that that would be the case. And remember, even if we do pull back into these areas, we've got a long ways to go just to get to our 50-day moving average. Holy cow, we're so stretched out ahead of that 50-day moving average. It's amazing. And then if we look at our QQQ, very much the same situation. We had a little bit more on the resting side here, pulling back side, I should say. Pushing down, if you remember on Friday, I suggested that possibility of pulling back into this area. And if that were to fail, then maybe we look for support to come in right in here on the chart. So far, um, we're holding up in here. We're trying to pop a little bit this morning. 
if those bulls can find inspiration, well, maybe a retest of this high, and if they can pop through there, maybe we even come all the way up into here. But if the bears uh, find that inspiration here today, then I would look for a test of this support down here in the chart on QQQ. And please keep in mind that even if we do get those bears acting that way, we're a long ways away from our 50-day moving average. We're a long ways from our trend. Very, very extended here in that chart. If we take a look at our IWM. IWM also had a couple of days of rest, a little spinning top doji, a couple days of rest, but honestly, nothing major. We did, however, give up this uh, little downtrend break, sold off just below that, but not so much to be a major concern. You will want to keep in mind that this was a very, very steep rally here in the IWM. So perhaps a little bit of rest um, is all we really need to, um, um, you know, find that that level of support and then see if we can push on higher here in the chart. So what I'm going to suggest is if the bears continue to find that inspiration today, we might test this level right in here. And if that were to fail, coming back down here into this level. And if the bulls find inspiration today, well, maybe a push back up and we can see if we can retest some of these highs. Now you will wanna keep in mind that even if we were to pull back <clears throat> substantially here in the chart, we're gonna still be well above our 50 day moving average. So this extension that we see here in the market is has become very, very extreme and there's a lot of emotion in this week. So we should plan for just about anything. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX just kind of spinning around here toward these low levels. Can't really get any fear going, can't really get any optimism going. It's big, it's a big hurry up and wait right now for all the data coming this week. And we can expect probably volatility to explode this week. It will likely, we could see um, some big gap mornings. Um, either gap up or gap down. We could see big reversal moves in stocks. We should watch for whipsaws and then we should just watch for that tremendous emotion that will spill out um, this week that can create all kinds of wild price gy gyrations as these data points come out. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122 has continued to signal an overbought condition and we did ease that up just a little bit with the tech selling in there, but we are still extremely elevated here in T2122, which means that if the bulls find inspiration, we really don't have um, that much space up here. We, uh, we continue to pound and pound and pound up here, stretching those markets higher. But remember, if the bears find inspiration, boy, there is a big open um, opportunity to the downside if for some reason those bears do uh, become inspired. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average, nothing more than a little bit of rest there on Friday with the pullback that we saw um, in the tech sector but we have to remember we are still extremely elevated in our t2108 um 75 nearly 75 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average which means that um we're going to need some pretty special data to push us up above there and if we were to happen to get data that's not so special well just kind of keep in mind um, what that might mean for the downside there's no clues in here right now of any bearish activity but we certainly should be on guard for it and watching so make sure you're raising those stop losses or ease up on just buying heavily going into this week if we take a look at our t2107 well t2107 pretty much the same kind of a flat day Day in there as you can see maybe just a little tiny increase uh, pushing up there around 60% of the stocks above their 200 day moving average and you will want to keep in mind we are reaching that um, area in the chart where we are very very frothy and things are going to have to be pretty stellar to continue to push us to the upside any faltering here uh, well 
you could see what could happen. But there are no clues as of yet that we're ready to fall. If we take a look at our T2101, T2101 hooked on Friday here, as you can see, suggesting that that momentum could shift. And I would suspect there could be some considerable momentum in the market, depending on how the data comes out. Um, if it's really good data, we might pick up on that bullish uh, momentum. If the bears uh, get active, we could certainly pick up on that bearish momentum really quickly. Um, so let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we do have a few things here that we'll want to be paying attention to. Uh, Chicago Fed National Activity will be coming in this morning right at uh, before the bell. Right after the bell, we've got uh, the PMI composite flash, so you'll want to be keeping an eye on that. I have actually haven't even taken a look at that. Looks like their consensus is looking for a 46 Point zero. Keep in mind, guys, that 46.0 is um, not growing. Anything below 50 shows that our PMI is not growing. However, services are looking to stay in there about 54. So a little bit of growth in the services sector. Um, other than that, we've got some bond auctions here today to be paying attention to. And then, of course, what everyone's going to be thinking about is what comes our rest of the week. We're going to have the FOMC meeting coming in here on Tuesday, beginning consumer confidence numbers, Case Shiller numbers. Um, the Fed will announce their decision here um, on Wednesday with the Fed chair. Uh, conference coming in after that. We're going to have petroleum status, new home sales, of course those mortgage applications and bond auctions. Then after we get through this, you'd think we'd get a little bit of relaxation, but nope, we're not going to get any. We're going to get durable goods, GDP numbers, international trading goods, jobless claims, personal incomes and outlays all coming here toward the end of the week that could move us around substantially. So we'll want to be keeping a pretty close eye on all of this data coming our way. If we were to take a look um, on our earnings calendar, well, our earnings get a little wild as well. We've got big tech earnings coming um, later this week. And remember those big tech earnings usually come after the bell. So when that occurs, we can have substantial volatility on the next morning open, meaning gap ups or gap downs, depending on how that data comes out. However, today we don't have terrible, and I'm gonna run through these really quick. Um, AG, AGNC will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. A-R-E, B-R-O, C-D-N-S. By the way, these are, whoops, these are all the notables that um, I have on my list today. Um, CLF will be reporting, DPZ will be reporting. We're going to hear from FFIV today, LOGI, MEDP, NXGN, NXPI, whoops. didn't get that symbol typed in right there we go nxgn uh, pkg rrc ssd and uh, whr so we'll want to be watching for those reports today some of those of course are after the bell those will be your notables for today let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If, um, 
If you um, have supported the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video, thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I, I do truly, truly appreciate it. And also for those of you who share these videos out on your social media feed, helps an awful lot. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're gonna need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here in the market. Expect tremendous volatility this week maybe not so much today but then the rest of this week we could see substantial volatility um, picking up dramatically of course on Wednesday with that FOMC so looking at these charts let's take a look um, first off there's some retail out there starting to show some pretty good shot signs here in the market take a look at GPS holding in this nice upside trend we got a little bit of downside right there with that little lower high but I'd watch this price support area in here if we can find a little bit of buying buy energy here we might pop on through off of that trend and you can take a look at several places around that retail showing some uh, well some signs of maybe getting ready to go Macy's pressing and banging its head against this resistance in the chart. Look for that next opportunity to the upside. Um, we saw um, uh, JWN also banging its head against a resistance here. Nice little wedging pattern, that opportunity that that may push on through to the upside. We've got Target still looking very, very bearish overall, but um, Walmart has been stretching here the last few days, stretching to the upside. Remember guys, a lot of these are gonna be reporting soon. So this is on 817, watch that close. Keeping in mind, we're pushing up here toward all time highs here in Walmart. Speaking of other real, um, retail out there, um, take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks trying to pop, whoops, there's my alert right in there on that chart. Popped on Friday, pushing up. You can see pushing through a little bit of resistance. If you're not already in it, any kind of rest or pullback that holds up in this trend, I would look for that next opportunity for Starbucks to the upside. You want to notice that we've broken the downtrend here, showing some pretty good signs there on Starbucks. Take a look at um, U.S. Steel. Now, U.S. Steel struggling in here just a little bit last week, but we just slid right on out here to this trend we're holding a price support look for that opportunity and kind of keep in mind we've got uh, Cleveland Cliffs reporting today CLF so if CLF were to report well then there might be that opportunity that we could push on through there on US Steel so watch that close uh, DKNG oh my goodness we love gambling and DraftKings holding up really really strong after breaking through this resistance in the chart kind of camping out and resting there. I would watch this carefully if that finds that bullish move. Look for that next pop to the upside on that. Uh, lift, lift could also be setting up here. Nice little resting pattern, kind of sliding out here toward trend. So there's no uh, real big rush in that chart, but watch that closely for that next opportunity that that could pop on through and head to the upside. Remember, it's gonna report on 8.8 8, and that could mess everything up in that chart. Um, I keep watching this MDT and I didn't buy it um, the other day when it popped through just because of the uncertainty of this week. But as you can see, that downtrend right here being broken. So now any resting pattern in here slides out here toward that trend, I would look for that next opportunity. It's not gonna report until 822, so I think there's some upside opportunity that may be coming in. And MDT is one of those um, AI companies taking advantage of AI, but it's been lagging way behind because we've seen quite a little bit of struggle in the healthcare sector here lately. So watch that closely. Um, take a look at Mosaic. Now Mosaic made a big move last week, popping through um, in that big move. Uh, we made some really nice money here in Rightway Options on this. Now any kind of consolidation rest back here, back to the trend, I would look for that next opportunity to the upside. Of course, this is gonna be pretty dependent on the dollar, what's happening with the dollar. The US dollar, has been strengthening here. Bond yields have been running back up in that uncertainty about the Fed meeting. 
So there could be quite a little bit of volatility in some of those commodity or ag related stocks here over the next few days as we kind of sort through the details of what these uh, major banks are going to be doing um, with their interest rates. Take a look at um, utilities, guys. Utilities made a big move to the upside. Now this is not something you would typically see shooting up in what we would consider to be a very, very bullish market. But there it is, it's shooting to the upside. So watch that closely in here. We've got this downtrend right in here that we're trying to um, breach. Now breaking through there is one thing, holding it is another. Hold that high or low, there may be some opportunities in that chart. And if you just drop into the list that makes up XLU, you can see there's a lot of charts making some very nice bullish moves to the upside that may be potential buy points if you're looking for something in utilities. So keep a close eye on that. You might also want to be taking a look at the builder sector, uh, material sector, um, um, XLB been moving up nicely in this chart. You can see we've got a little platform consolidation right here, looking for that next move and that potential trend to break through that resistance. And if you take a look at some of the stocks in that sector, yeah, there are some pretty good stocks out there. Take a look at CF moving up hard here. You can see where my alert was in that chart, popping up through, pulling back. If this rests or consolidates right in here, I would look for that next opportunity somewhere along that area for that to move on to the upside. Take a look at stocks like International Paper trying to come up out of the bottom, PKG trying to move on up. So watch those closely. Um, quite a few of those stocks looking good. Even some of the mining stocks have been showing some signs of coming to life. Now that's going to be really important on how that dollar performs, whether these will be any good or not. But um, FCX is one of those breaking that downtrend just trying to decide is that dollar going to stay too strong or weaken up in here as we rest out here to the trend look for that next opportunity to the upside in the chart so there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to today I want to wish everyone a fantastic day and we to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for listening thanks so much for being here and supporting the effort of putting these videos out I do truly truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day everyone.